If you're wondering where I am, you can see right behind me is the Yellow River. They call it the Mother River in China. If you look at creation stories, this is one of the, they believe that they originated from the river itself. I've seen this river before, but not the same way. I saw it in Shandong. But today there's something special about this because this, uh, they just said that it's the last curve or a bay. The whole river, this is the last cavalry. It used to cause Lankau so many disasters before, flooding and all these other things. Do you can see how incredible, like how many amazing things he did for this town. It gives a lot of hope to a lot of things. This is what he looked like when he was young. He used to farm with the other guys and all of them are here just working hard with him. And that's his wife. Apparently, they lived together and this is the only photo they have. He didn't live here for so long. As we are gonna see, he got sick at some point. This is him and people coming to see him. And Apparently what she told the people is that the only thing I need is not an expensive funeral. Use that money to make people's lives better. And as you all know, Chinese people usually, the Chinese culture is you get buried in your hometown. But he didn't want that. He thought it was too expensive. Like, this almost tells us that he knew what he was, what the people he was leading were going through. And he couldn't be able to just see them suffer in silence, so he had to do something about it, make their lives better because he knew what it's like to be on the, you know, the other side of poverty. Before I was just curious about the whole story, when I was learning other things, I didn't know how much impact he left. And after today, I am not really met him, but so many people have so many things to say, nice things to say about him that you can't help but feel how appreciative they are of him. And now I feel like I know him better, like I have a better understanding of who he was as a person and as a leader. Why he's an example, because we have so many heroes like this all over the world. There's so many people he helped. That reminds me of a Chinese saying that says, Qian ren zai shu, hou ren cheng liang. This is our responsibility from the story we just got from him. It's a responsibility for us as young people to actually take care of trees and to plant more trees for the future people because from this city we can actually see how much that can change other people's lives and we have to carry that on I think as a human race.